In this video, I'm going to talk about one of the dashboard within the Center of Excellence Starter Kit called as Power Platform Administration Planning. Now, this is in, remember, this is an independent component. Okay, so Center of Excellence uh, core components or nurture components, anything is not dependent on this component and you can use it independently. So even if you do not have Center of Excellence Starter Kit implemented, you can still import this solution and you can make use of this reports okay now again to reiterate what is an administration planning so administration planning is basically uh, uh, a, 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 a like a report and and a and model driven app which allows your organization's administrator or uh, like a user within your organization to effectively plan all the power platform related activities in a more efficient manner provided you know what you're doing Okay, it lists down the list of tasks uh, of uh, which is needed to manage and maintain your Power Platform environment. Now, the task can be anything. Uh, you can add a task to uh, the model driven app and then you can get uh, information out of it. Now, to start with, Microsoft will give you a template of task which has already listed down like a couple of uh, hundred tasks uh, and you can add on top of it. You can put some commentary around it and then you can extend those system further. Okay, just to give an uh, information. Now, how this report is getting generated is uh, because there is an another backend app which is called as an admin task app. Okay, now this task, admin task app, when you install it fresh, you will not see any task here. What you need to do is uh, within the Center of Excellence Starter Kit, you get an Excel file, which is basically a dump of uh, uh, information which you import in this particular list, okay? Once you do that, you will see all the information over here. Now, I'll explain you what this uh, uh, list is all about with just one example. Uh, take, for example, you add one task, okay? Now, let's say this task. Now this task, what it says is add a user to Dataverse role. Okay, this is one of the action which you perform under Power Platform Admin Center. Now, task documentation link, if the admin wants some more information, they can navigate to this particular URL. Whether it's an active task, whether it's being done, yes, it is done currently. Uh, outsourced task, whether it is outsourced or not, you can specify like who does that. If it is within your uh, organization, you do it, then put it yes. Uh, whether uh, this task is automated, okay? Is there a chance of automation, okay? If you say yes, then put mark it as yes. If it is no, then just put it no. Who is the owner of this task? And how frequently it is done? Is it done daily? It is weekly, monthly? So you can put all those parameters over here. And uh, how many times you do it uh, during that iteration? So if you say, uh, say daily, then you can say anticipated task iteration in a year is 100 times, okay, or maybe 200 times, okay, you can put that. And how many hours does it take? Okay, five hours, five minutes. So you can put those uh, information over here, okay? And what are the experience required to undertake that task? Do you need a basic knowledge? Do you need an expert knowledge for it, intermediate knowledge? So you can specify those information. Now, remember, all these fields will help you generate that Power BI report, okay? Now, core admin persona, uh, who, uh, what kind of admin it is, okay? Is that person a Power Platform admin? Is it just an environment-related admin, citizen admin, or a product owner? And peripheral admin means how it is, closely related with other Microsoft product? Is it an Azure AD admin? Is it M365 admin, security admin, license admin? And you can populate this information, okay? This is just a placeholder which Microsoft has provided. And what this task is, this task is mainly about security, right? As you are adding a user to a dataverse role. If the task had been related to licensing, you could have selected licensing. If it is related to migration, you could have selected migration. Now, that's how you build this task, okay? Now, once this task exists within your environment, and once this report runs, you will see uh, the nice report developed by the PowerCat team. Now, this report is basically uh, divided into multiple sections. One is effort. Second is task breakdown. Third is team breakdown. Task overview and then task okay let me start with uh, the below table which is task okay now this one this table will just list down the 
task whatever is available within your admin task application okay so as you saw that add a user to a dataverse role now if you see this record this is same as what is there in the admin task list okay this is exactly the same okay so this is a tabular representation of the items which you have put in the back end data books so that's all about task now if you see here task overview how the tasks are shaped frequency whether you do that task ad hoc whether you do it annually whether you do it daily or whether you do it monthly so once you select this parameters the visuals get refreshed automatically okay now the visual will show you primary task category and secondary task category remember in the task which we have seen there was something called as primary task category and secondary task category so it generates a pie chart based on how many tasks are shaped in which particular uh, areas okay based on the frequency selected now i've just selected frequency i can select product or service okay i can select whether the task needs automation or not i can select whether it's an outsourced task or not now those all fields you will see over here okay whether the task needs automation whether it's an outsourced task whether it's an active task okay so those all things you can set now that's all about task overview so we have seen task we have seen task overview let's go into uh, team breakdown now as we mentioned for this task we need uh, core admin persona which is an environment admin and for peripheral admin persona is azure ad admin okay now if you see this report it will uh, show you this core admin persona for all the listed tasks i would say majority of the work is for power platform admin so then this gives this table gives you an indication this uh, report gives you an indication that you need a person with the capability of undertaking tasks with regard to power platform admin now for your organization maybe environment admin might be more so then that gives you an indication that we need to hire resource with regards to this task okay and then peripheral admin persona accordingly and which area does it belong to is it belong to security licensing so in a nutshell this report will help you analyze what are the different types of tasks being done within your organization and what resource do you need or what resource uh, do you foresee to need in the near future or what resource do you need to outsource this work okay so if if you already are overloaded within your organization then you can request for say uh, 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 say counter resource uh, who can uh, help you uh, for that task okay you can outsource the work to different organization okay now what are the different levels of task required like is it intermediate is it expert level so those all things can be seen over here okay and then it will show you all the summarized work now all this information is zero as of now because i haven't added any hourly work for the task it is all like just coming from the template but if you fill those you will see some information coming back to here task breakdown now as you see over here like based on the filter level selected over here let me remove the filter once you remove the filter all the rep report will be refreshed uh, now here here you will see what what kind of task it is proactive and reactive now you see an ad hoc task over here listed so this section illustrate the balance of reactive or unplanned work okay can you automate can you automate some of the tasks by writing a powershell script or maybe uh, running it in form of workbook or maybe uh, using some power automate script uh, or power automate flow uh, to uh, automate some of the task okay so those decisions can be uh, taken from this particular report okay and uh, lastly but not the least the effort what kind of team whether it needs to be outsourced whether it needs to be automated those things can be put over here okay now you can also put like if your team size is say maybe three you know then how does this outsourcing work automation work looks like you know now uh, once you put a correct data you will see some number of hours listed over here now here you will see one automated task you know now similarly you can see uh, all those information within your dashboard now uh, make sure that you uh, 
remove all the filters which is currently existing because the moment you click on any visual uh, it is filter based okay so you will you can see all the filters now as you see all the visuals are lighted up so there is no filter applied and you can see actual data now earlier this was showing some uh, no record but now you can see there are 12 outsourced tasks there are 11 tasks which needs automation uh, by doing this we can save 50 hours weekly you know uh, and then automated resource saving would be 1.25 FTE uh, and then we can have total daily effort of 3.035.04 you can you can change the team size over here you can put two and then you know like the value will uh, change uh, and then you can get some more insights uh, so it's basically a calculator for you to understand the work effort within your organization how the task break down how the team is broken down and how is the task overview uh, scattered based on the category which is defined uh, within the uh, model driven app for admin task okay so that's it folks this is all about power platform administration planning go play around with it and try to understand what kind of work has been done within your uh, organization and how do you like to outsource it or automate uh, some of the uh, mundane or repetitive tasks thank you